this is almost the end of the year. Um, I want to do a quick uh, one year anniversary on my um, crossing hybridization experiment and focus on the two grafting methods I have been using. One is the toothpick methods and one is I call the tra uh, trailer top methods. Um, first one, I'll talk about the toothpick methods. The grafting methods is used when the seedlings are really, really small. And before the real cactus stem coming out, at this stage, the seedlings are so small, it's any me other methods cannot uh, really effectively hold the seedlings on the rootstock. So I just took the toothpick to punch a little hole on the top of the rootstock and stick the seedlings inside the hole. So it's nice and simple. And when you do that, use some sharp uh, object to scratch the stem of the seedling a little bit to expose their uh, flesh so they can have a flesh to flesh connection between the seedlings and the rootstock. Basically, the, that's it, the methods, and uh, it's working pretty well. And I have several examples successful growing for these methods. And uh, you can see uh, all three seedlings on the same rootstock. Seems only one survived at the end, and that maybe that's how much the rootstock want to support. And you can see it take a while, they gradually established, growing, and uh, at the end, and you can see this kind of result. It can go all the way to the top and uh, pretty big now. I, I did these methods in during winter time, so the growth is quite slow. But if you do it during the warmer weather, probably will they will grow faster than this. And the other methods is I call it trailer top grafting, and um, it's a use um, mature plant to graft. And I did not graft them on on the mature. Uh, branch and I looking for something like that a small new branch coming out from the trailer top and then you make a horizontal cut there and also make a horizontal cut on the seedlings then use a tape to type these two uh, tightly together and uh, that's about it it's pretty simple uh, the advantage of course is the seedlings already on the trailer top they don't have to grow up from the bottom anymore. And the second one is um, because a very interesting phenomena that graft the seedlings tend to grow a lot of uh, little branches uh, at first. Normally, you have to pinch off all those branches, only leave one to grow up the trailers. But if you graft it on the trailer top, and you can let all these um, branches to grow, which is a uh, forming um, umbrella effect right way. And I have a very successful example here. This is a grafted um, pelora, and this one is grafted right on the top of these little trailers, and it was grafted um, beginning uh, the early spring of last year. You can see that the they already have fruit. Just one year, it's already have fruit if you grab it on the trailer top. And uh, you can see that the one, two, three, four, five, six, six branches coming up from that one point. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six fruit. Just one year after grafting. Here I have three uh, trailer top grafting on this um, um, Vietnamese white. It's 
one here, one there, and one here. You can see both all three of them from the same fruit. And you can see the difference even now. Like the branch color is a little different. The thong, size of the thong is a little different. So it's interesting to see that um, all three of them are brothers and sisters. And uh, I can't wait to see their fruit to see if there's any difference among them. And now is a competition between the trailer top gravity and uh, the regular grafting methods on the shorter rootstock. The competition is to see who has uh, fruit first. And um, actually I have an interesting material for the next hybridization. And this guy, see how beautiful it is? This is a, a fruit from Sin Hispanus and this and their branch has no um, thongs like this. It's, the thorn is so small you can't even see them. And um, this particular one is pollinated by um, Bruni. Bruni has a very interesting flower and the Sin Hispanus has big fruit and interesting color of the flesh. The color is very very dark. The hybridization between these two, I'm hoping to get something, have them um, beautiful fruit, beautiful flower, and dark red flesh. In the meanwhile, this Bruni, actually these both are pollinated by the pollen from uh, Sin Expanders. So it's uh, vice versa. And this one, the Bruni is mother, and the Sin Expanders is the father. And the other one, Bruni is the uh, father, Seen expanded its mother. So I'm going to grow the seedlings from both these fruit to see what's the difference. Where the genetic material come from, the father or mother make any difference on the spring uh, on the, on the offspring. So this will be an experiment for next year. So stay tuned. Um, okay, that's about it. Thank you for watching.